cleaning up the harbor. The city of Baltimore has a great harbor, but it has some problems. It's dirty. There is trash floating in the water. The trash is ugly. It also causes health problems. That's why Baltimore has started the Healthy Harbor Project. The debris in the harbor comes from the city's streets. The streets have storm drains for rainwater. As water flows down the streets, it picks up trash. The water then pours into the storm drains. Next, it flows into streams and underground pipes. Finally, it all empties into the harbor. The people of the city decided to do something about the trash. The mayor started Mayor's Cleanup Day. School children painted colorful murals. The murals reminded people not to litter. Workers painted the storm drains, drains blue. This reminds people of where the trash on the street will go. Neighbors are also cleaning up, cleaning up trash. They pick up milk cartons, soda cans, and plastic bags. They see that the trash comes from the streets. It reminds everyone to put trash where it belongs. The Healthy Harbor Project is working. As the word spreads, more people join in. Soon, the city will have a clean harbor. Visitors can ride a water taxi to see the harbor sites. Ports of Baltimore, Harbor Place, Visitor Center, Rash Field, National Aquarium. Number one, read the sentences. The debris in the harbor comes from the city streets. The streets have storm drains for water. For rainwater. As water flows down the streets, it picks up trash. What is the meaning of the word debris? A. Fish. B. Dirt and trash. C. Rainwater. D. Streets. 2. What is, the, what is most likely the reason the author included a map in the passage? A. To show the reader that there is a harbor in Baltimore. B. To remind himself about what Baltimore looks like. C. To show the reader that the relationship between the streets of Baltimore and the harbor. D. To show the reader where important landmarks in Baltimore are. Number three. How does the first paragraph about Baltimore's harbor add to the main idea? A. It shows that the story takes place in Baltimore. B. It establishes that there was a problem with Baltimore's harbor. C. It shows why you shouldn't litter in the harbor. D. It establishes that trash is ugly and harmful. Number four. How did school children help remind people not to litter? A. They clean up milk cartons. B. They paint murals. C. They throw away trash. D. They join the mayor's cleanup day. Number five, the author used a problem-solution structure. What are the most likely reasons why the author wrote this passage this way? Choose two answers. A, the author wanted to show people in Baltimore are working together to clean up the harbor. B, the author wanted to persuade the people of Baltimore to help clean up the harbor. C, the author wanted to persuade people to not litter. D. The author wanted to show why the Healthy Harbor Project was started. E. The author wanted to show the steps being taken to solve a problem.